Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd. Yes, right around the 22nd. So let's just see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. All right, this reading may or may not be for you. And the timing is fluid, okay? So this could happen in the next couple of days or not at all. So, okay. Mm. Spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening. Ooh. I'll show you what's on the bottom because we had it yesterday. Unexpected help is arriving. So there is still some unexpected help arriving. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening right now. Ooh, do you love it when I do that? I can't control myself. Hurricane season ahead. So we got hurricane season ahead. That's always fun. Not. Ooh. We also have, you ready for this? A missed opportunity. So somebody is missing an opportunity as we've been seeing in the previous two daily vibes. So somebody's missing an opportunity. They're about to get a spiritual awakening. Probably because they're not acting. You know, they're not taking action. You know, what does a hurricane do? It comes in and wipes things out. Okay, it cleans things out that are unstable. Um, there's stormy weather ahead. Let's get one more card. Nine one one emergency. This is an emergency. Somebody needs to take action right now. They are about to miss an opportunity. They are. Hmm. Very interesting. Get prepared for some stormy weather ahead. All right, we have an emergency here. Uh, somebody's about to get a wake-up call where they're going through a spiritual awakening. There's unexpected help arriving. After, you know, 911 is typically a disaster of some sort, and a hurricane is a disaster as well. A hurricane's kind of like a tower moment. It is a tower moment. So there's, it is, it is going to cause a spiritual awakening. Somebody's about to... Well, what do hurricanes do and towers do? They they clean things out. They, something is a, somebody's about to get. I feel like it's a rude awakening of some sort um, because a tower is typically a rude awakening. It's forced to change. It's a it's a massive disruption. So the, in a hurricane is a disruption. It comes at a typically. I mean, there may be a little bit of a notice, but obviously there's a warning sign here. This is warning, warning, warning. I mean, this is a warning sign. It is. It's a warning sign. Uh, there's there's a need to uh, do something right now. This is an emergency. Uh, interesting. Judgment reversed. So judgment reversed is uh, refusing to listen, uh, not accepting, guilty. Um, there could be news of legalities that are coming up. Somebody, you know, um, is having a hard time. They're not answering the higher call. This is not answering the higher call. They're not listening. They're, it's, 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 there's a need to accept something or there's a need to finalize something or to make a judgment call. Maybe even to be honest with judgment reverse. We have somebody here that um, needs, needs, I don't know if they're going to be subject to trial or they need advice, but they're unwilling to listen to advice. This is a bad judgment call. Poor, poor choice consequences being held accountable being held accountable for making a poor choice Ooh, oh boy this is the two of cups reverse this is about a partnership it's about a union so it is definitely about a partnership 
somebody uh, there's incompatibility here there's no unity there's a lack of reciprocation there's uh, unhappy couple unhappy union somebody has made a poor judgment call or they're making one right now about a partnership on the bottom of the deck we have eight of cups that's saying goodbye you know it's sad but you know that's that's walking away saying goodbye even though it's hard so I think that we have somebody here that ha has no choice but to say goodbye if there's no reciprocation, if there's no unity, if there if if there if there's no reconciliation, if there's no chance, you know, if they're not being accepted, you know, if they're not being accepted, then you got to say goodbye. So if somebody is saying goodbye. That's the 8 of cups. Judgment is moving on from a from a bad choice, you know. Judgment reversed. not listening though not listening somebody's not listening they're not listening the sun reversed the sun reversed is unhappiness it's very unhappy we have an unhappy couple here or an unhappy union you know there's no growth this is dark it's uh there's false impressions. There's, there's, this is like a broken relationship. You know, it is. The sun reverse. It's not happy. This is, this is unhappiness. We have an unhappy couple here. Unhappy union. And there is another opportunity for love. Ace of Cups. Okay? There is another opportunity for love. This is about self-love. It's about opening the heart, following the heart, following the in intuition. Somebody hasn't been. They haven't been. They've been in some sort of union that isn't making them happy by the looks of things. They haven't been able to wake up because judgment upright is a spiritual awakening. Uh, judgment reverse is lack of. It's lack of awakening. It's lack of awareness. So somebody has been unaware they have been unaware of a partnership that could make them happy <laughs> and hurricane season is ahead there's obviously an opportunity for love here we have somebody here that is it's like dipping in they're dipping into that new opportunity because you see that's coming right out of the water it's like it is. We have a new start in love here. Or this could even be self-love. This person may be loving themselves. Hmm. Getting ready. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting ready to fall in love or something like that. Or give their, their, their love to somebody. This is filling up that cup. We have somebody here that is filling up that cup and getting ready. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to go give this to somebody. Magician. Magician is action oriented. Okay, as above, so below. Somebody is about to, it's like they've manifested something. This is taking action to bring success, willing to do whatever it takes. So we have somebody here that is about to do something. This is somebody that is is finding their willpower. They're taking control. They're, they believe in themselves. This is somebody that is going to do something to bring success. You know, they want success. This is a doer. Uh, uh, is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. Magician takes action. So some sort of, somebody's taking action in regards to a union. They've been unhappy. They've made a poor judgment call.
Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a card of togetherness. It is a card of cooperation, communication, working together. Um, building something. Somebody is, is going to be taking action to build something. They're, they're willing. It's like, I'm willing. I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, you know, prove myself. Five of rods. We have a competition here. Take a look at that. This is a competition. This is, this is, it is. We have a competition here. Well, well, well. So we do have a competition here. We also have heartache. So I think we have somebody here that has been heartbroken. You know, they've been, they've been rejected. There's rejection here. Somebody is sad over a rejection and there's competition. There is definitely some competition. There's going to be a fight or a battle of some sort. Okay, this is a it's a fight. It is. I mean, the fight this is a fight. That's it's like a it's a competition who's going to win. You know, this is a competition. So somebody is going to be involving themselves in a competition. It looks like we have two people here that are both wanting to win, you know, and there's obviously going to be some action that is taken. We have somebody here who's willing. They're like willing. I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to play. I'm willing to I'm willing to get in this game. So somebody is is deciding that they want to prove themselves in some way. Again with the 3 of pentacles as well. If this is somebody who's willing to prove that they have the skills. We definitely have a skilled individual here who, you know, is willing to do whatever it takes. They're willing to prove. They're willing to prove. Somebody, we got somebody here that's willing to prove, you know, that they are the best option or that they're the strongest or that, you know, they don't give up. You know, this is a fighter. I feel like there's some sort of fighter here that is willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. Strong competition here. King of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very focused on their money, very focused on, you know, their financial stability or may not or, or may not or this could be somebody that doesn't have a lot of money. It could go both ways, but what how I see this is somebody right now how I feel I feel like this is somebody that is very much focused on everything but a relationship the king of pentacles in reverse is typically very greedy very selfish very self-centered uh, doesn't really care about a relationship only cares about their bank account uh, cares about uh, their social status you know this is could be somebody that is doing something illegal you know, or doesn't have a lot of money and is really, really focused on, you know, securing themselves and all they focus on right now is their money, okay, in their bank account and blah, 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 blah. Um, so we have somebody here that is probably missing an opportunity because they're so focused on everything but a partnership. It's right under the two of cups, reverse, makes sense. We have somebody here that they, uh, they uh, well, we also may have somebody here that is very insecure. Uh, the King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is insecure. Maybe it's financially insecure, but it could also be insecure, you know, internally insecure. We have insecurities here. We also have jealousy. We have stubbornness. We have an abuse of power as well. Uh, I feel like we have somebody here that is not really investing in a partnership because. I don't know, maybe they're just inf investing in their job too much or uh, they're not very awakened. They may not be very spiritually awakened. If you're more focused on your money than you are love, then you're not spiritually awakened. And that's the truth. So, uh... We also have somebody here that is unhappy about the competition. 
or they're unhappy about playing games. There's definitely unhappiness. There could be a third party situation here. We also have the lovers. So the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. There's an option here, making a choice in regards to love. So I do believe that we have uh, a choice that is being made. Somebody is probably choosing another option. They've been uh, neglected or not very nourished with the Sun card reversed next to the Two of Cups reversed. They haven't been really in a happy place with a partner who is not uh, bringing growth to the partnership. This person is not nourishing it, you know, they're not. If there's no light, there's no growth, it's dark, it's it's not a good place to be. There's no there's no feeding it. Somebody hasn't been feeding a partnership, you know, they haven't been. They've been making a poor judgment call. But I do believe we have at least one person here that is about to take action. They are about to uh, do whatever it takes. We do have an unexpected choice in love here. We have two people that are coming together that are being brought together. That's what the lovers is. These are two people. This is kindred spirits. This is falling in love. This is getting together. A very easy partnership. It's very easy. It's very uh, comfortable. Happy. But this is an unexpected choice in love that is very sudden. It's, it's very sudden. Somebody is making a sudden decision. They're going to do something. They're going to be creating their own success by taking action. And there's obviously two options here because of that five of wands and this card. So there's two options. Somebody is making a choice. There's a, this is also a card of consequences as well. So I do believe that there's some sort of consequences. There's consequences for uh, not, not answering the higher call, for, for not taking action, because I feel like we have an individual that is missing an opportunity because they are not nourishing a partnership that... You know, they had every opportunity to nourish, but they were, I don't know if they were too focused on their job or their money or another partnership that wasn't reciprocating or whatever the case is. You know, the lover's card is a card of commitment. It is a card of falling in love. It is a card of partnership and union and compatibility. We do have, we do have two people here that are very much aligned with each other. They have a lot in common. They have uh, shared values. I feel like these two people are going to be uh, deepening a bond. Mm. Queen of Cups reversed. Now the Queen of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn. Um, could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be dealing with the Gemini, uh, with the Magician card and the Lovers card. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I said Leo already, Scorpio. Um, anyway, Queen of Cups reversed. Emotional, very emotional, heartbroken, sad, uh, vindictive perhaps, victim mentality. doesn't open up emotionally, not emotionally available, emotionally withdrawn. There's some sort of emotional disappointment here. Somebody's not getting the love, they're not they're not getting the love that that they need that they asked for because magician is as above so below 
somebody's not getting the love that they asked for that they you know but they're gonna they're gonna be I feel like they're gonna be connecting with somebody that you know does two of cups reversed and we had the lovers upright so this is we, we may have a separation here we may have a breakup with the two of cups reversed this is not it's not there's no growth there's no happiness there's there's no love the sun card is a card of love but it's reversed there's some sort of false impressions here this is we also have poor logic we we have somebody here that is lonely due to disillusionment you know, they're just refusing to wake up. They're refusing. They are. They're refusing to wake up. They're, they are. But they're about to get a spiritual awakening because they're missing an opportunity while they're playing games because there's competition. So anyway, the five of wands, that is a competition. We have somebody here that is willing to prove that they can win. They're not going to give up. This is somebody who's not going to give up. It feels like, I mean, it feels like we have two people that are, are going to be fighting for the same title, whatever the title is. Or a trophy, the same trophy. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now the Four of Pentacles reversed is it's time to relax. It's time to open up. It's time to let go of the insecurities. It's time to open up. Somebody has been very stubborn. They have been uh, holding back or holding on to something. They've been holding on to something that they're going to be letting go of with the Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's going to be letting go of something that they have been holding on to very tightly. They're letting it go. They are letting it go because it's not practical. It's not bringing them happiness to hold on to it. It's not. They're going, so we have, we, whoever this person is that, that's letting go, they're letting go of something they've been holding on to because there's no reciprocation and they're going to be putting in effort to prove their value someplace else. Mm. King of Rods, okay. King of Rods. Now, this is somebody that is definitely angry, that is taking action. Uh, this is somebody that is a fighter, that is ready to fight, that is ready to do whatever it takes to win. This is somebody that uh, is taking a leadership position. Uh, angry. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting angry. There, or they could be angry. I don't know. But this is somebody that is going to do something, definitely. This is action is going to be taken. Somebody's about to take action. They are about to, I don't know what it is, but it feels like they are about to open up. They are about to uh, do something. Uh, I don't know if they're going to fight. There could definitely be a fight here. We definitely have an individual that is not happy at all. There's going to be some sort of... I don't know if it's competition. It's either competition or a fight. There's gonna be there's gonna be some sort of tension. There is. Not happy. Not happy at all. We have somebody this is an emergency. It is an emergency. There is also an individual that is coming in really, really fast. This is somebody that is on a mission. They are on a mission. This, this this is a man on a mission, so we definitely have a man on a mission here. This guy is is gonna be doing something. They got this they got this vision. This is somebody that is, is willing to prove their nobility or whatever it is. Because typically the King of Wands is very noble.
hermit. So we have somebody here that is doing a lot of thinking. They're thinking, 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 thinking. This is withdrawing, reflecting, taking a time out to reflect, thinking about everything that has happened. So I do think it is a time of reflection. I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, or has been uh, observing. They have been reflecting. They have been thinking. They have been keeping to themselves. Um, I also feel like we have somebody here that may need to do that. They may need to go within and re-identify who they are. Time, maybe they're setting new goals, coming up with a plan, uh, plan of action. Okay, the hermit is a plan. The king of wands is action. So somebody's coming up with a plan of action. They're thinking about, you know, what their next move is, and perhaps that's what needs to happen. Um, get prepared, okay? Get prepared for some sort of tense situation to unfold. It feels like it's tension with the hurricane. I feel like I, I feel like there's like a tower moment that is coming. I feel like it's some sort of emergency, nine one one emergency. <laughs> Um, I feel like somebody's about to get a wake-up call of some sort. They may have been avoiding it, you know, they may have been avoiding this awakening, but there is going to be a wake-up call, okay? Um, getting what you asked for, because the magician is, well, this is what you asked for, this is what you asked for, you know, this is as, a, you asked for this, this is what you asked for, you know? Somebody may get that awakening, this is what I asked for, you know, this is what I asked for, um... Eight of Cups on the bottom again. This is goodbye. It is goodbye. It's it's it is. So if, there could definitely be a separation here. Somebody may be leaving. They may be leaving because they have no other choice but to leave. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I mean, you can't fight what your heart wants. I mean, you can. But this is emotional disappointment. It is. I do believe that somebody is going to be making an unexpected choice in love because they have been neglected by a partner that is not feeding them per se. See an increase of communication because of that three of pentacles, cooperation, willingness. We have somebody here that is now willing, they're willing, they're willing to fight. Anyhow, so yeah, we have, we have somebody here that's about to take a leadership position. They've, they've come up with some sort of plan or something like that. They've thought about it and it's time for, I don't know, maybe it's a reconnection. Good luck.